Good morning, guys. I uh, want to come and talk to you a little bit about time and money. Just had a situation, just got the word last night that a friend of mine's daughter passed away. She was under the age of 30. It made me reflect a lot about my brother. Uh, he was 55, went in for back surgery. They opened him up and uh, noticed he had cancer. Um, died briefly after that. Obviously, that was a shock. So I want to make a statement. Time and money. The illusion of time and money. They are a great tool, but terrible masters. We have so much confidence. We put so much confidence. We feel so secure in time and in money. Jesus dealt with both of those. With money, he said, why do you store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, basically the things of this life? And he told someone to follow follow him, and the person said, oh, it's not time or not right now. I can't right now. I've got to go bury my family members. And Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Follow me. In other words, the time is now. And we all just went through the Super Bowl. Tom Brady, when his first Super Bowl victory Circuit City, Sears, and Blockbuster were all advertisers. They were financial giants in the world. To advertise at the Super Bowl, you have to be. And if you would have told any of us back then that they were all going to go bankrupt and vanish and disappear, we would not have believed you. If we all walked around this earth with a number on our forehead, how many days we have left... Would we treat that person differently that we saw with a 22 versus one that has 7,000 or whatever the number would be? Time and money are elusive. Now, I'm not saying that we're careless, carefree, foolish even with our time and our money. They're great tools. When we build a house, we need tools to build the house. We need tools. However, what we don't do is we don't show off the tool. The purpose of the tool is to help us build the house. That's, that's time and money. So if I told you you were dying, would you live differently? Would you spend your money differently? Would you, would you make different choices? Would you treat people differently? Because the reality is, guys, we're all dying. Nobody's getting out of here alive. So... Let's just hold time and money a little uh, a little more carefully. Make the most out of each day. Love each other. Invest in people. Time and money, the two most precious resources we have. Let's invest them in people. Have a great day. Love you guys.